Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on Chaos Workflows with Litmus and Argo, the KubeCon North America 2020 Virtual Edition. This is Uma Mukara, co-founder and chief operating officer at MyData, and I'm also one of the maintainers on Litmus Chaos CNCF project. In this session, I'm going to start with the Litmus project introduction and then Sumit is going to talk about Argo and do a quick demo of construction of a chaos workflow using Litmus and Argo. Let's start with Litmus. Litmus is a CNCF project. It is accepted as a sandbox project early this year. Our mission is to help Kubernetes SREs and developers in practicing chaos engineering in a cloud native way. My data integrate and Amazon or the current maintenance of this project. Chaos Hub is an asset to the project where all the Chaos experiments are hosted together for the community. So why Chaos Engineering for Kubernetes? It's because your application resiliency depends on a host of other cloud native services or cloud native applications. In fact, 90% of the resilience of your application depends on some other cloud native service or Kubernetes itself. So how do you achieve resiliency? The answer is practice chaos engineering, right? So what is chaos engineering? It is a practice of introducing a random fault into a system that is running at steady state and then observing if the steady state has been regained or not. If yes, then the system is resilient. If not, you found a weakness. So how do you do this on Kubernetes? You follow the Kubernetes native principles where the life cycle of such an experiment is run using a chaos operator and the management is done using a set of uh, custom resources. In this case, Litmus provides a chaos engine CR, a chaos experiment CR, and a chaos result CR. Using this custom resources, you can introduce or you can run a chaos experiment in a cloud native way in a totally declarative way. So how do you run this chaos and practice chaos engineering at scale? So for that, Litmus has introduced chaos workflows. Chaos workflow is built on top of an Argo workflow or it uses an Argo workflow to run multiple experiments. You can configure to run them in sequence or in parallel. And then this Litmus Chaos Workflow consolidates the results of such experiments to give a meaningful result to the user. Because this entire workflow is run declaratively or configured declaratively, you can practice chaos engineering using GitOps. Uh, practice. Let's look at Litmus Chaos architecture. So Litmus provides uh, a Helm chart uh, with which you can install a Litmus portal and then you can uh, run agents, Litmus agents on uh, different uh, Kubernetes clusters where you need to practice um, chaos engineering or you need to run chaos experiments. This can be the same cluster on which you install portal. So once you have that, you set up a chaos workflow, which will be picked up by the chaos operator and results in running of the experiments uh, as per uh, the flow defined in the chaos workflow. And that results uh, in a set of metrics, chaos metrics and events, which are then uploaded to Prometheus uh, for your analysis. From Litmus portal, you can run chaos on um, different uh, Kubernetes clusters, a multi-cloud environment, uh, or a hybrid cloud environment as well. So this really means that with Litmus, you can practice chaos engineering uh, across your enterprise. And uh, it's not just a, a set of experiments that you're putting together, but it's a tool set that provides uh, the entire infrastructure required for running chaos engineering at scale 
across your clusters uh, in your enterprise. So let's also look at Chaos Hub. Chaos Hub, as you can see here, it contains generic experiments, uh, a bunch of them, and uh, a set of application-specific experiments as well. So you can practice your chaos engineering uh, most of the time uh, with already available experiments. Uh, 70 or more than 70% of the experiments are already made available for you. You construct um, the remaining experiments uh, using uh, Litmus SDK. And uh, if you think this new experiment is going to be useful for your users, you can also upstream such an experiment to back to the hub. Let's look at a list of chaos experiments that are available. Primarily, they are divided into generic and application specific. You will see that there are currently there are about 22 generic chaos experiments, the most famous one being uh, pod delete. That's the one that everybody starts uh, using whenever they try uh, litmus. But one of the other um, important one is also uh, Kubelet uh, service scale, which is uh, an important function to test when your Kubernetes is uh, very much in production and uh, serving at scale. These experiments covered a lot of variety across network, CPU, uh, memory, disk, and uh, services, IO, and node in general. So using this generic experiments, you should be able to cover uh, much of your chaos engineering needs. One of the other um, important aspects of Litmus is how easy it is to build new chaos experiments. We call it as bring your own chaos uh, into the environment. All you need to do is put that chaos logic into a Docker image or a container image and use Litmus SDK to create uh, an experiment skeleton, put them together, appoint your Docker image to that CR, and then you are ready to use that experiment into a chaos workflow. So how do you get started with Litmus? Uh, Litmus provides a Helm chart with which uh, you, you get a Litmus portal, and you use that Litmus portal to select a predefined chaos workflow and run it on uh, your choice of a Kubernetes cluster. This is how um, a Litmus portal looks like. And once you log in, you will have um, a set of predefined experiments. Here I'm showing um, a set of workflows that are already scheduled and run. And you can go and schedule your new, new workflow. And uh, that gives you a set of predefined workflows which you can choose. And then you can tune the weightage of experiments that are part of. Uh, that workflow, and then you schedule it. When it is run, you can go and see how a given chaos workflow uh, was executed. Did everything go right or not? And um, it gives a good uh, picture of uh, the sequence of experiments that were run. And also, uh, Litmus Portal provides a uh, uh, good amount of analytics around um, um, this uh, chaos experiments. And uh, as stated earlier, the mission is to help developers and SREs to practice chaos engineering on Kubernetes in a Kubernetes native way. With that uh, introduction, uh, let me switch this session to uh, Sumit. Hello, everyone. As Uma has given overview of Litmus, its architecture and plugin infrastructure, we are one of the recipient of leveraging this plugin infrastructure. I'm Sumit Nagal and today I'm talking about Chaos Workflow with Litmus and using Argo Workflow how we are leveraging the workflow capability. Little bit about me, I work for Intuit who's a proud maker of TurboTax, QuickBooks and Mint. 
I play uh, Kubernetes, a lot of open source, uh, being in Java and Python for a long time, uh, doing a lot of uh, testing and performance uh, work and leveraging cloud on uh, observability platform. I'm leading a reliability engineering team. Uh, as part of that team, we are building a paved road, which help, uh, which is on uh, open source tools, providing infrastructure and reliability for any specific service. It has a three solution of chaos engineering, performance, and infrastructure. Now, this team is actually helping the Intuit developer platform, which is building next gen Kubernetes platform for uh, Intuit. We have uh, thousands of developers and hundreds of clusters with uh, more than 2000 plus services already onboarded. And this one is going uh, leaps and bounds. This is the overall architecture of this into developer platform where we are building a paved road for any onboarding service and we give them a, a template so that they can onboard build their specific functionality leveraging this platform which is primarily on the kubernetes leveraging a aws infrastructure there are a lot of informations are available in that here we come and be part of that uh, this platform we wanted to build very uh, robust reliable and stable as well as we want that to be a uh, scale little bit about my chaos journey uh, i've been working on uh, chaos from uh, last couple of uh, years initially been working mainly on the application side where we were building the historic circuit uh, breaker as well as a point to point solution like uh, aws uh, chaos monkey and the same army kind of stuff we did some game day so that bring a lot of awareness about chaos Last year, we started working on the this chaos toolkit. We built a lot of use cases uh, specifically from the application cloud, which is AWS uh, platform, which is a Kubernetes. We added many extensions, we enhanced uh, uh, many extension, and later we wrap it up in service and created a node base use case. During that time, there were many uh, uh, incident happen, not to our platform, but a few of our uh, products, which being there in prod that create a bit awareness about that how someone will go and uh, uh, build the resiliency for this so what we started doing is that we try to see that if we can port this work to the kubernetes and then we figure it out that it is a little challenging we cannot port that because of security compliance and the it's not a native kubernetes so we did the initial POC with the litmus and uh, we have many use cases, more than 70 plus use cases, specifically from application cloud and platform side. We, we don't want it to rebuild uh, everything from scratch. So what we have used and we build with a small POC and help from the community, we build a plugin infrastructure where all our work has been being executed by a custom resource. And later point of time, uh, we figure it out that how this work can be uh, added as part of the CI CD and a workflow. Uh, we work closely with the work, uh, workflow team and build the solution. And after that, uh, we have introduced the performance as well as the chaos side by side and executed via Jenkins declarative pipeline. So this is the overall setup what we have for uh, the chaos design uh, where we are installing uh, this chaos operator which is coming as part of the litmus as well as a few CRDs in one of the namespace and we install uh, the Argo workflow as well as Argo controller on uh, another namespace and we create many custom resources. These custom resources are the one which is actually being invoking our framework and with the the right kind of RBAC, we are targeting specific application as well as the, the cube uh, system specific uh, uh, namespaces. And all the data we are right now pushing to various uh, monitoring and observability solution. And this has been executed by uh, Jenkins pipeline. Taking one level down, how this magic is happening. We have this framework which is actually being called in this custom resource. Custom resource are about what? 
uh, and then when you have created that uh, chaos operator will look for those custom resources and when we go for executing a chaos scenarios that time the chaos runner pod will come up which try to bring this experiment which is nothing but your container code which has a logic and then it will finish that execution it push the data to the kubernetes event and then we have done internal integration of uh, pushing the data to operation data lake so it pushed to our operation data lake there is a one session on operation data lake by amit and vijit uh, please attend that uh, and then the all the result we are pushing to the chaos result so by this time you have that uh, idea that how this overall uh, structure will there i will go one level down that how this framework works so we have this framework being exposed through custom resource this custom resource is using an image uh, which is a python based container image and in this python based container image we are using chaos toolkit framework which has many extension we use existing as well as we build our and then it has a specific logic written which is using with the steady state hypothesis uh, it's a steady state hypothesis before and after and then you go and execute the chaotic operation and later it will go and push the data to operation data lake so everything in nutshell if you wanted to take it out how this one is there so we are writing these use cases these use cases are nothing but our chaos experiment test these tests we are putting in the argo workflow this argo workflow is a code which is being checked in in the git git we have integration with the jenkins jenkins pick this specific code and with the cube context it interact with one of the namespace and it submit the argo argo will execute a workflow this workflow will look that whatever instruction has been provided as part of this workflow that experiment exists so this experiment which already being set it up on uh, the specific namespace it pick that specific scenario it launch the chaos runner this chaos runner will be be using and uh, our existing uh, framework image and launch the experiment this experiment is picking the code and using the cluster role rbac and target a specific pod and once the test is done it will go and it will bring the the uh, result as well as uh, uh, the report to our operation data lake now why argo workflow so we we have seen that you can execute kubectls and yamls and then you can execute but logically speaking if you really wanted to execute everything as part of pipeline many scenarios it become very challenging so automation was one of the thing now with argo workflow everything is coming as a one yaml where we can just use one of the parameter to the argo submit and we can invoke that specific thing and everything is a code so you don't need to maintain a various different kind of yaml and we have a scenario of a hundreds of our clusters it become very very challenging how we roll it out as we are using argo there are a lot of already cost optimization and resource utilization optimization already done that which is actually helping in the cost which is i think one of the more uh, important uh, thing in the current pandemic going and it as we have introduced the chaos with the performance we are getting more reliability we are not only looking for statefulness of the chaos we are getting the statelessness of the performance and then we merge both of them it help us to build lot of complex scenarios which is in practical writing a kubes cutl yaml is not possible and as this whole execution is happening in a manner that uh, uh it is a, a very predictable it bring lot of trust and confidence in the overall setup last but not least it because it's a code self service and onboarding is very very easy and then as we are using workflow it it become the complete life cycle whatever you have set the base state it will finish the same base state again now this is the final chaos uh, argo workflow setup how it will look like where you could see that we are running the chaos as well as the performance execution 
uh, I will go for the demo. And, uh, we have this place where we put all our code base uh, of uh, all the YAMLs. And I will be executing uh, two scenarios. One scenario is that from this namespace, I'm uh, creating chaotic operation and application and cube system. And I will try to do it with the existing framework as well as through Argo workflow. So right now here, I have this specific uh, namespace where I have the Nginx demo running. And then I will just try to get uh, these experiment added here. And then I can validate that. And then I will apply the RBAC. Uh, once I apply the RBAC, I can go the execution, which is the chaos experiment using uh, chaos toolkit Litmus Python. By the time it started, the runner pod has come up and the runner pod will initiate the container which has a framework which is here this container will try to do certain action based on that uh, how we have configured that yaml so i have kept one experiment uh, one so here you could see that uh, we are using one of the image from litmus chaos chaos toolkit image uh, this is our custom resource and then here we have provided certain parameters and this is the experiment we actually use we override those parameter and then we specify which specific experiment we are executing so let's see here now here it actually deleted that nginx demo which is another app and it bring down that delete and then uh, the runner part so with this we are able to do a uh, the execution and I have this uh, demo script uh, to, uh, available at uh, your fingertip. Now let's go to the another scenario where we wanted to do this, but we wanted to use the uh, Argo to do that. So now in this scenario where we apply a YAML, I have parameterized everything and those parameters are that I am attacking one of a KM pod on the cube team system. And this time I'm passing a different uh, chaos toolkit file and then here I am just uh, executing and then this will launch the Argo workflow. Let me just go and grab that. Uh, so Argo workflow when it will launch it will again do the same thing runner pod it will execute and then the runner pod job is to initiate that container. And now here you could see that KM pod has been terminated and then you could see that the run chaos will be finished and then we will bring back the chaos back to the uh, same state. I have the workflow also available through the nice UI. So this is the way it is executing. Now everything is done. Now I will go and I will say that I wanted to execute the chaos test with the performance. That's uh, the give me the value add of that if during chaotic operation something is happening to my endpoint. I'm going and this time I'm executing the test and it will impact the application pod. And here I'm side by side running the performance test as well as I am running the chaos test. So here chaos runner has been started. So here you could see that the flow has been started. Chaos execution started as well as the test also has started. They both are going in parallel. I can go and look for workflow. So here the PDB create happened and then I'm execution as well as the performance test both are happening side by side. Now one chaos has been finished and you could see that the test is still going 
and the application has been uh, brought down i can go and look for my logs here which is the performance test during this time here you could see that during certain time there is a pod has been impact impacted you could clearly see that and if i go and look for the other one i am right now running two pods so now with this you could see that we can go and identify all the uh, problem on your application and we probably need to put uh, the resiliency build on that application thank you very much thank you sumit for that wonderful demo with that we have come to the end of this session on creating chaos workflows using litmus and argo please do take a look at the github projects of both litmus and argo thank you again for watching our wonderful conference till next time see you bye bye thank you